Shiraz Muved Viognier. Our philosophy here at My Sphere has always been one about blending, about trying to build or create the best wine possible. And, and this wine is an excellent example of, of just that. I think the common factor that brings these th three grape varieties together is that spicy character that all three grape varieties possess. But of course, in a, in a blend, we're looking to expand on the, uh, the wine's uh, flavor profiles. And I like to think that uh, by blending all three grape varieties, we actually create a layering of flavors within the profile. Uh, we take the, the spicy, dusty, earthy characters of Maverde, we take the, the spicy and the punchy red berry fruits of Shiraz, and we take the, the lifted aromatics of Viognier. And by adding all three components there, we, we have a much more complex and layered palette than we had beforehand. I think one of the really unique production techniques we use with this wine is uh, co-fermentation. It's a technique traditionally used in the Rhone Valley and traditionally used with such grape varieties. Um, but I think it is uh, amazing in terms of the continuity and the integration it gives uh, all three grapes and the wine. Uh, it makes our job very difficult because, of course, the three varieties never want to ripen at the same time in the vineyard. We have to work very hard in the vineyard to make sure they, they do approach ripeness and optimum ripeness at the same sort of time. And I always say, once we've picked the grapes, I feel like we're, uh, we're halfway there with this wine. So once we've got these grapes into the winery and they've been crushed into a tank, uh, we set about macerating the skins and the juice to extract the maximum amount of flavour and colour and also uh, tannin from the grapes. And we do this by what's called working the cap. Uh, essentially, that involves pumping the, the juice that has settled on the bottom of the tank uh, back over the top, over the skins to, to promote their in interaction. Uh, we do this every six hours, uh, four times a day, uh, which is quite an intensive regime, but we feel uh, for the very limited time we have this wine fermenting on skins, we need to, uh, to make, make the most of that. We don't use any new oak on this wine because uh, we want uh, the fruit and the vineyard to express itself fully and we don't want any other uh, interfering factors. I wouldn't describe this wine as a really full-bodied or tannic wine. It's actually quite a, a medium bodied, quite a soft and approachable wine, but it does have those uh, firm, savoury elements, particularly from the Verde. Uh, therefore, it probably matches a broad range of, of foods and dishes. I probably wouldn't go uh, too heavy on the, on the meats, more sort of uh, Mediterranean style cuisine.